They are kids in high school and college, football players and cheerleaders, honor students and band members. They are also heroin addicts. I can remember in the dorms, like being dope sick, my, the finals of my first semester at school and having to like buy so much heroin to get through the studying of the finals, I like bankrupted myself. William Transit started like many kids do, with a sports injury in high school. I had a football injury and, and um, the doctor prescribed Vicodin. And uh, as a result of the prescription of Vicodin, they, they took me to a place I never thought it'd take me. I, uh, by the time I was 18, I was fully addicted to heroin. Sometimes it just takes one mistake. Roger is a local kid who tried heroin once and was hooked. Nobody's stronger than that drug, that your brain wants that feeling. Michael Gesner is a recovering heroin addict. He says lots of kids don't want their parents or police to catch them with beer on their breath, so they take pills to party. It started with uh, prescription drugs at about the age of 18. That's the problem with this. It's, it was more accessible than alcohol. Hundreds of local kids are dying from overdoses. Those who don't end up in jail cells or courtrooms. They're physically and psychologically addicted to the drug. Unless they recover, they have to steal in order to support their habit. They don't care about hurting their families or friends. They don't care if they fail out of school. Their body wants heroin and they are helpless.